Welcome, people of planet Earth and all planets beyond. Thank you guys so much for watching. My name is Josh, and welcome to Heat Check. This is our weekly review of the highest vintage t-shirt sales on eBay over the last seven days. So let's get into it. This week cooled off just a little bit from last week. Last week we had, I think, every t-shirt over $1,000. which was a crazy week for t-shirts and for um, jeans. Uh, but this week we have some really cool t-shirts on the list as well. Uh, some newcomers, some uh, repeats that we have seen before, but some new t-shirts that we have not seen on this list before uh, make the list this week, and it's pretty dope. Uh, just so you know, I don't necessarily authenticate these uh, items but I do try to authenticate the sales they actually were paid for. Uh, so if they're fake t-shirts end up on this list and someone paid a thousand dollars for it, I feel bad for them. Uh, but I don't really do the authentication. If I see something suspicious, I'll let you know. Uh, otherwise, let's get into this list. All right, coming in at number 10, this is one I'm really happy actually ended up on the list. Uh, this is one of, or was one of my favorite bands growing up in uh, my teenage years, Crow Mags, uh, some New York City hardcore. Uh, I got to see them once in a reunion, uh, like a reunion or half reunion show. Uh, it was incredible. Um, but this one is super dope. 80s original Crumb Mags, Best Wishes album, promo tee. Um, it's got like just some sick art. I mean, um, everything looks like pretty good uh, in terms of condition. I don't see any like obvious flaws or um, like any holes or anything, which is pretty impressive. Uh, tagged a little worn that's to be, you know, that's pretty much par for the course. The graphic looks great. Um, I mean, super cool tee. Uh, Crow Mags, like I said, one of my favorites out there. It looks like there's a little hole, but that's nothing. Uh, I definitely still buy this. Um, this t-shirt sold for not a thousand dollars. It sold for a best offer. That's uh, so they had best offer up, uh, of $800 plus $40 shipping. Uh, looks like it did go internationally. Um, but what an incredible t-shirt right here. Uh, definitely one of my favorites on this list. At number nine, we have the Grateful Dead. We see Grateful Dead pretty often, but this is a 1992 Rose's Birth of Skeleton. Uh, this thing is an incredible t-shirt. Uh, all of uh, the colors on this, super vibrant. Um, it's on the liquid blue tag, the OG. Um, and you got Grateful Dead spelled out on the back. I mean, all the roses here, the color is on this thing is just incredible. Um, which really, in my opinion, makes the t-shirt, um, because these, these colors just pop like, like, um, very few other t-shirts do. Um, super dope t-shirt. Uh, we got all the details there, all the different, uh, random things, maybe a little defect here or two. But this one is super dope, sold for $874.99 with free shipping. All right, then up next we have this vintage Notorious B.I.G., uh, the five crack commandments t um this t-shirt looks all right though i will say i'm like i said i before i don't authenticate the t-shirts on these uh, on these videos just because i don't have enough opportunity to really get down into the nitty-gritty but there's just something a little bit sus maybe a little bit this has a little bit sus feeling about this um but i could be completely wrong uh um, other, I mean, the T-shirt itself obviously looks old. It is double stitch, uh, so this would be probably from a little bit later in the '90s, uh, which is it's still perfectly fine. Um, but uh, super dope tee, if all things are in good order, uh, super sick. This T-shirt sold for nine hundred and two dollars. Here is a really fascinating one. This one is really cool. The story behind it's pretty dope too, or at least it appears to be. Uh, this 1990s anime T Evangelion, I think, I don't know, don't forgive me, I'm not a big anime fan. But anyway, a uh, really interesting uh, t-shirt here. Uh, we have the t-shirt. Uh, obviously, anime tees, especially from the 90s, are hard to find, and they're definitely super high in demand. But what's so interesting about this listing um, is that the voice, apparently, of one of the characters is actually selling the t-shirt. Apparently, this is her. Uh, from what I read in the description uh, and she is going to sign uh, an autograph as well uh, so you're buying a t-shirt apparently from the uh, uh, you know the original voice of one of the characters she's autographing it uh, so it's uh, really cool uh, love when you can hear some of the stories behind these t-shirts and not just uh, you know I found it at the bins uh, even though I love finding stuff at the bins and stuff but it's also awesome to hear uh, from 
uh, these really original stories from the original owners. So uh, this one is super dope. It did sell for $910 plus shipping. Um, there were nine bidders and they bid 36 times to get it up to this price. Uh, I imagine probably a little bit of a premium considering uh, the provenance of this t-shirt. So a uh, really cool t-shirt, cool story. Next up, we have a 1993 Deadpool t-shirt. Uh, it does appear to be one from the series of uh, Marvel Comics tees, uh, t-shirts. Uh, it is on a Fruit of the Loom size XL. Not one of the big crazy all over prints, but it sure does okay for itself. Um, looks like it's in good working order. Uh, obviously a great, um, obviously a great uh, size. So uh, a cool graphic, especially if you're a Deadpool fan. We haven't had a lot of these Marvel comic tees up on the list uh, recently, but uh, definitely a dope tee. I don't think it has any, does it have a back hit? I don't think it has a back hit. It's not showing the back, so maybe it doesn't. Um, I would say, you know, if you're going to sell a t-shirt that's expensive, put the back on, even if it's, you know, put the back picture on, even if it's nothing, uh, just for, uh, uh, just for the sake of the buyer. But, uh, this t-shirt did sell for $950 plus shipping, uh, super cool t-shirt, uh, definitely deserves to be on the list. Next up, we have a Metallica shirt. This is an interesting one. It apparently is from 1994, never, never worn. Uh, it does appear to have never been worn. It looks like it's been folded or something for a long, long time. Definitely has the, the uh, 80s uh, look and feel. Uh, it is on, what is it on? It's, um, it's on a screen stars from around that same time. 100% cotton, uh, which is kind of unusual. It kind of looks like it should be, a, it's a poly shirt to me, um, just from the texture, but it's apparently cotton. It's just very thin. Uh, but the member of the Metal Militia, uh, these t-shirts, I've never actually seen one of these t-shirts just like this specifically, um, but uh, not particularly, uh, no particular doubts about this t-shirt. Uh, apparently it's owned, this is the original, uh, maybe the original owner. I think it, well, I think I saw something like that, but maybe I'm wrong. Um, maybe it's just original here. Uh, but anyway, super cool t-shirt. Uh, not crazy on the graphics or anything, but uh, if it's really from, you know, that time period, 1984, this is a really old Metallica shirt and it's hard to come by. Uh, so super dope, especially in the condition it is. Size medium. Um, it's not particularly great size, but it's still a dope t-shirt all around. It sold for $975 plus $5 in shipping. Now Biggie makes another appearance on this list uh, two times. It's the first time we've actually had Biggie on this list, if I remember correctly. And we have him twice here. Uh, super dope. Uh, T-shirt definitely has the parking lot uh, bootleg vibe. Doesn't look like the, you know, the graphics are particularly uh, centered well. It may not have supposed to been centered on the back here, maybe. I don't know. Uh, but uh, if it was a parking lot boot, oftentimes they weren't centered super well because they are just made super fast. Uh, it definitely has the parking lot boot, uh, like the Made in Haiti uh, uh, parking lot. Uh, it was a really common tag for, that, uh, for those types of T-shirts. Uh, so super cool T-shirt here. Uh, definitely... Uh, uh, definitely a rare one and hard to find and it should be on this list um, and high on this list this one sold for nine hundred and ninety nine dollars plus ninety five cents and shipping now speaking of repeating we have Wu-Tang Clan Wu-Tang seems to be always on this list uh, uh, this t-shirt though we haven't had itself so uh, welcome to this t-shirt to the list uh, but this one is super great look at the graphic super good uh, huge graphic on front and back Wu Revolution uh, super sick. It's on the same tag we just saw the Big E.T. Uh, with. Surprisingly, they don't give the measurements to this t-shirt anywhere that I can find, which seems unusual. Like, how are you selling a $1,000 t-shirt uh, without measurements? But whatever. Uh, still a super dope tee. Good sale, too. Sold for $1,000 with free shipping. Now at number two, we have this 1996 Blade Runner uh, movie promo tee. Single stitch. This is an interesting one because A, it looks super dead stock. B, it's uh, from 1996, and C, the movie came out in 1982. Um, I don't know if there was like a re-release that year or what, but still, what an incredible t-shirt. Um, this thing looks great. It does have a little bit of uh, cracking, but you know what? I like that. I prefer that. Uh, it does help uh, give some you know, legitimacy to the t-shirt itself. Um, but what a great, great t-shirt. Uh, super rare, hard to find. In a pretty good size, let's say XL. Yeah, great size. Uh, let's see the the measurements on these things. Like 23 uh, in, uh, inch chest. This is a, gr a great, 
uh, size and a t-shirt. So this one is definitely, uh, I think this is maybe the only movie promo we have this uh, week. We normally have at least one, uh, and so we have one this week. This one sold for $1,000 as well, plus shipping. Now before we get to number one, I do want to mention that we have a playlist of tons of videos about how to identify vintage clothing, vintage t-shirts, and vintage Levi's. You can check that in the eye above if you want to check out more about vintage clothing. Or go back and check out previous uh, weeks of the heat check. Now at number one, we have seen this t-shirt before on this list. I don't think we had it at number one previously, but it's the Soundgarden t-shirt, Black Hole Sun. Uh, this is one of those classic... Uh, always going to be, uh, you know, almost contemporary art t-shirts. Uh, this t-shirt looks like it's in fantastic condition on the Brockham tag, Brockham Worldwide, made in USA. The Black Hole Sun graphic on the back looks incredible. Um, this t-shirt just, just looks like it is in excellent condition all around. Um, this is, uh, I mean, it's probably as good as you could get outside of being dead stock. And if it was dead stock, I'd be worried about dry rot. Here it's clearly been washed, uh, but it's still in fantastic condition. Uh, Soundgarden number one this week at one thousand one hundred and seventy-five dollars plus shipping. Great T-shirt to end off this list. So that was the top ten. Soundgarden being number one, not a surprise. We've seen it on this list before. I don't think it's ever been number one. I think most of the times that it's been high on the list. Uh, there were some other crazy t-shirts sold that week as well. So, uh, but definitely deserves to be up there. It's a great t-shirt. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.